Hello, fellow Ruritans. My name is Larry Bowman. I thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me today. We want to talk about encouraging others. I think this is a very important subject, and I think it's very important that we keep everybody engaged in our Ruritan clubs. So let's move on. As an introduction, I just want to say how we treat others contributes to the success of our clubs. You know, we want to be with people who make us feel good. We want to try to catch our members doing something good. And when we do catch them at that, let's recognize them. This goes so far in keeping them engaged in our clubs. We're going to spend some time discussing how we can do a better job of encouraging those in our lives and those in our Ruritan clubs. And we're going to see how we can learn so much from something as simple as a goose. So let's get flying. You know, geese work together toward a common goal, just like we as Ruritans do. As each goose flaps its wings, it creates uplift, an aerodynamic orientation that reduces air friction for the other birds to follow. You know, by flying in a V formation, the whole flock achieves a 70% greater flying range than if each bird flew alone. That's quite a statistic. 70% is quite, a, quite an improvement. What Ruritans can learn here is that when we share a common direction and a common goal, we as well can get there quicker and utilize less energy in the process because we can benefit from the momentum of the group around us. Let's make sure that your club is aware of the common goal that you're working together to reach that goal. Let's increase visibility. You know, the geese, by flying in a V formation, they increase the vis visibility as every goose can see what's happening in front of them. The lesson here is to ensure that all members stay in tune with what's happening in our clubs. If we just allow a few members to participate in decisions and just a few members to participate in projects, we're going to alienate the other members. We need to remember that we got to get everybody involved and get input from everybody. So we need to empower others to lead. You know that these geese that are flying, when the lead goose gets tired, he rotates back into the formation and allows another goose to take the leadership position. We as well have to allow others to lead within our clubs. So many times I see clubs that have the same club president, the same vice president for years and years and years. And this is not healthy for our clubs. Let's keep an eye out for potential leaders and encourage them to take some additional responsibility. Keeping tight control of our clubs will only disengage and demotivate our other members. You know, each one of us have unique skills. Look for those and allow them to shine so that we might benefit our clubs. Recognize good works from our members. You know, we've all hear, heard the geese fly by and they're in that formation and they're honking. And when they're honking, they do that to recognize each other and to encourage those up in the front to keep up their speed. The lesson here is to praise people and give them the recognition that they deserve. Lack of recognition is one of the main reasons people are not happy with their jobs, and also, I'm sure that that's going to apply to our Ruritan clubs as well. Remembering to constantly provide recognition and encouragement is vital and keeps teams motivated to achieve those lofty goals. The great, great, great power of positivity. When geeks are in flight, they honk to encourage those at the front to keep up their speed. Now, this teaches us the importance of positive reinforcement. We all need to be praised from time to time in order to get the sense of accomplishment and need. 
The importance of giving praise becomes magnified when life gets difficult or when the pressure really gets on. And it's especially important to give praise to the leaders of our clubs, as they tend to be the ones that are feeling the pressures. This is of utmost importance. We have to care and protect for one another. And again, we can take a lesson from these geese. The geese's instinct is to care and protect is ingrained, and the care of the flock is a fundamental need. When a goose gets sick or is wounded, it's interesting that two geese will drop out of the formation and follow it to the ground to offer help and protection until it can fly again. You know, our Royalton Club's like a family. When one of our members is hurt, we all hurt. Let's help heal those hurts by standing next to our members and supporting them during illnesses, deaths in their families, loss of jobs, whatever situation they're in. So in summary, none of us want to be part of an organization that's in constant turmoil. Let's put our petty differences aside and show love to one another. Encouragement is something that's free to give, but its value is priceless. Let's start giving away a lot of encouragement throughout all of Earth and land. Being an encourager doesn't mean that we have to agree with everything that everybody says or every suggestion that's put before the club. But we got to address each one of these things in love and encourage each other that maybe we don't agree, but for them to continue to submit their ideas and thoughts. So the next time you see a V formation of geese, Think about how you can encourage somebody that day. And, and to end this, I've got a challenge for you. The next time you go to your Ruritan meeting, I want you to put five pennies in your left pocket. Every time you encourage somebody to meeting, move one penny from your left pocket to your right pocket. And if you can move all five pennies to your right pocket, hey, you've won the challenge. After you win, hey, next time, try it with six pennies. Maybe after that with seven pennies. See how far you can get with this challenge. I think that you'll make your club meetings more enjoyable and your fellow members and yourself will have a much better time. Hey, happy encouraging. If you've made it this far, I really appreciate your time. Keep encouraging one another. Happy happy, encouraging. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.